What is up? Megan McIntosh here. I'm hoping this video is working. For some reason, the live on my phone is no longer working and it is only allowing me to go from my laptop. So I don't know what's going on. Facebook's always changing. So I'm really hoping that this video goes into the group as I am recording directly from my laptop. <laughs> I have my tripod with me to put my phone on, but I don't know. It's just asking me to create a, a room to do lives now, and last week it didn't. So I don't know. Facebook's always changing the game. So here we are. I am still going to talk, and hopefully this comes through okay inside the group. As you can see, I'm in a different location. I'm actually in Kingston. I was in the eastern part of Ontario for a wedding. The wedding was actually in Quebec. So we stayed in um, Gatineau, which is just across from Ottawa. Then we went to Low Quebec, which is like the rural area of Quebec. It was an absolutely beautiful venue. And then I'm back in Kingston and I'm on a lovely bed here. <laughs> just hanging out on a bed in a spare bedroom and um, so I'm getting back to the Toronto area tomorrow night so today I'm still here and just hanging out in Kingston it was a long weekend we just a lot, a lot of driving back and forth between Gatineau and the wedding venue in Quebec and because our hotel was in Gatineau and I don't know about you but this September my allergies have been out of control <laughs> I've, I've been pretty good and healthy the past 18 months, you know, during the COVID time. And then the last few days, I didn't know if it was a cold or what it was, if it was just allergies. So it's just been, um, if I sound stuffed up or if I'm sneezing or anything, forgive me because that is, it is what it is. Lots of allergies. So today I want to talk about doubt. I want to talk about, um, as a business owner, the things that you think about and the successful people, what successful people do and how they push through that doubt. And I'm coming to you from this because I was watching a live stream concert uh, yesterday. I think I watched it or this morning. I can't remember. My days are all mushed up. <laughs> I'm like traveling. I'm working from my laptop, you know, going to different places. I never know what day it is. And I watched this live stream concert. Um, and one of the topics that came up from this artist was the topic of doubt and doubting himself um, before he performs, before he goes up on stage and sings. So for those of you who don't know, um, I'm a bit of a like a closet One Direction fan. <laughs> and so um, Louis Tomlinson, who's my favorite One Direction mem member, he was doing a big concert in London, England. And of course, I live in Canada, so I'm not going to his concert. But he was offering tickets to do to watch his concert. And then he put it together as a documentary. So I bought the ticket and watched it on Veeps. It's this uh, live streaming, um, I guess they do concerts on there. And so it was really cool because he showed almost like the behind the scenes preparation before the concert. And then you see the concert and then you see after the concert. So I love that kind of thing. Um, behind the scenes, I think behind the scenes in anything is really good. That's why we do bloopers sometimes in videos or um, you wanna really be open and vulnerable about you know, your process because people always want to know. They don't always want to see the perfectly, um, the perfect picture, right? I think that uh, I watch a lot of YouTubers and one of the things that they mention on YouTube is that they get more views on videos where they're not doing everything perfect, that they're coming to you vulnerable with behind the scenes and maybe they're not um, doing the perfect edit or anything like that and all these graphics it's more them being raw and real with you and I think that as a creator or as a content person who is branding yourself online getting clients by being you and um, promoting yourself what's hard is that like what is that line right that line of being professional that line of um knowing that you're an expert and showing up as an expert versus that line of how much do you um, give away about yourself? How much do you showcase that is behind the scenes, that is the real, the reality, the grittiness of your life? And I think that it's, it's actually kind of hard to know that line 
but I think it's important to note that we all, if you're putting yourself out there, especially if you're online and you're promoting yourself and your business, you're a creator, right? You're a creative person and to get clients, you go out there and showcase your work and your thought leadership and your writing and your videos. And, you know, before coming on here, I was thinking, um, you know, wow, people must think, uh, you know, you're always in a different environment, right? Because I'm always moving around. I'm either at my cottage or at my house or I'm somewhere, somewhere else, right? Today I'm in a different environment. And it's not always a professional setup behind me because I just, you know, because I like to travel and I like to be in different places. And there's a, a sense of, I was thinking this today, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I you know, I get myself put makeup on and, and like put something on nice to look um, presentable, but at the same time, it's, there's still a bit of a little bit of last minute to whenever I'm doing a video or wherever, whenever I'm presenting something. And I find that, you know, I can judge myself about it and f feel nervous that, oh, well, it's not really how I want to come across. But then I think about the people that I um, watch and listen to most of the time, they're being real and they're being open with me about their process. And this is exactly this documentary. And I think that if you have a business and if you're promoting yourself online, you're promoting um, your expertise, but you're also promoting you as a human and they want to see the behind the scenes. They want to see your lifestyle. They want to see things about you, right? They want to be able to connect with you as a human, not just as someone who's giving tips or educational advice and expertise on the internet. And that's something that I try to do. I try and show all of me, but of course I still hold a little bit back. And, um, what is this new tip? I don't know what that is. Okay, it's just saying select group to share your video. Okay, <laughs> I just saw something pop up. I said, do I, am I supposed to press that? Anyway, so I'm just gonna tell you a little about doubt and how it creeps in and what successful people do to overcome it. And I have, so basically Louise Tomlinson who did this video, this live stream of his concert, he did the concert a few days ago, then he turned it into a documentary. Um, with clips from the concert as well as before and after like during COVID as he was pre preparing for this concert it was a festival right an outdoor festival and it was really interesting because here's someone who is was one in one of the biggest bands in the world One Direction like they you know making so much money having so many fans and him having to go out on his own right because they've been disbanded for you know they haven't been a band for about six years or so right and now going out on his own and, and promoting his own album and his own work as a single artist used to being on stage with a whole bunch of people right well um i think there's five of them usually and now four but you know having other people to um be on stage with then going out on his own as a solo artist being by himself and we're wondering what's that going to be like and in the video in the live stream he was taught he has a vocal coach right someone that I, I was thinking oh my gosh she does similar things that I do but she's teaching him about vocal but so much about the work that she was doing with him was mindset which is you know this is someone that is probably making every single year over 65 million dollars a year right so this is someone who has uh, like uh, if you think about it unlimited money um can put on a free concert has fans backing him um has many many followers on twitter um and is loved by so many people yet he still has doubts he still has those insecurities he he mentioned he in the video he was saying you know um, you know, the doubt can be right in front of me, right here. And after, right before he goes on stage, he has those nerves. And, and is it nerves or excitement, right? And he said, I could almost feel like I want to run away. But he was very excited for this event. He said that this event, he, you know, he turned it into excitement. And he was worried. He was talking to his vocal coach about, you know, um, I feel like I'm doing the best I can in terms of my vocal. But if what if my practice, like the, the rehearsal the day before, the day of, um, is not perfect and I want it to be perfect before I go, I go on stage and she said something so brilliant and um, you know I don't know the exact quote but she was saying something along the lines of you're a performer you're an artist you just have to realize it might never be perfect and be able to be okay with that and be able to 
she didn't say push through because I'm not saying the ex I should have actually um, got the quote. Her name's Helen Horlick. Uh, Horlick. Let me just double check. Let me find it. Um, her her name because she was such a great um, coach. Helen Helene Horlick. Um, yeah, Helene Horlick, and she was um, saying something about you know, it's really getting through this, like knowing that. Um, people are here for you and I'm seeing that you're amazing your voice is better than it's ever been um, the sound designer saying your voice is better as it ever has been but it never might be up to your standard it never might be as this like perfection that you want it to be right and so it's just about to be successful you just have to do it you have to go and be energized and just get on the stage and you'll surprise yourself and I think that you know even her saying that and even her calming him down the day before he was still like okay okay but like cleaning in advance like you could see him cleaning his his kitchen area and just like being on the windowsill and just like you could just see the nerves were there and even right before going on the stage but he says once he gets on stage and once he's doing his thing those calm down and even in the concert he said i don't even know what i was stressing about you guys are amazing and i feel like i'm on top of the world and this is in terms of anything that you do, right? I'm talking about a major musician. But if you're a content creator, someone that's doing videos, if you're putting yourself out there, you're getting yourself on video, you're writing content, it is scary to press play. It's scary to write something, a piece of content, and then press publish and not know what's going to happen. Will people like this? Am I going too far in this piece of content? But I find that once you let it out there, it's gone, right? It's out there, it's your work, and then people, more, less people are gonna judge you than you think, right? More people are gonna be like, um, enjoying what you say, be touched by it. And so there's always gonna be a doubt. And so the successful people, what they do is, th that you can learn from is really knowing that that doubt is probably always going to be there. That perfectionism and that need to be perfect and the need to have it just right is always going to be there. You're never going to be in that perfect environment. Yes, you might be like 8%. I feel like someone's behind. I think there's an animal behind me in the window up there. Um, you might be 8 out of 10% ready, right? I mean, coming out on here, um, you know, I put my makeup on, put my dress on, and then, of course, the video doesn't work. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. But at the same, and then I was thinking, oh, you know, I'm always in a different spot and, you know, <laughs> I don't like the background. But it's never gonna be 100%, right? Even if you have all your X's crossed and your T's, the, the T's dot, the I's dotted and the T's crossed, and even if you have the bullet points of what you wanna say, you might make a mistake you might say um and ah these things might happen but knowing that you are still being brave you're putting yourself out there you're being bold and that it's a rare thing for people to do that and that if you're just pushing through if you're doing what you know you should be doing what you're meant to be doing and you actually do it even when that doubt creeps up even when those, ner those nerves come and even after you do it feeling like oh, I didn't really like that as much as I could have. I could have been a little bit better, right? Um, even after you do something and you maybe think, oh, I don't know how that landed. I don't know how that video went. Being okay with it. Because if every time you're about to shoot a video or every time you're about to write a piece of content, you doubt yourself so much that you don't do it, or you doubt yourself after the fact and you just think, oh, I don't want to do that again. It was too painful. It was too much. I, I felt too vulnerable there. Your, people are missing out on your genius, right? People are missing out on your message, on your art, on your performance, on who you are. And so um, making your business work even with doubt is knowing that it's always going to be there. Knowing that you could have the best coach in the world, you could have the best cheerleader, the best professionals backing you and all the money in the world. Um, and you have to just remind yourself that this is what you're meant to do. And even if you have to remind yourself every going at it, the more you keep showing up, the easier it's gonna get. And the more you show up and the more you do um, what you're meant to be doing, the more likely that you're gonna feel like um, it's okay if I'm not perfect. And 
I mean, that's really all I have for the message today <laughs> is about making your business work even when doubt creeps in. We all have that human side of us. We all have that side of um, our brain that is judging us and making our ourselves feel not good enough. And knowing that if you're someone that can push through that, you will be the you will be able to create results because people do not want to see the perfect picture of you. Of course, every once in a while, maybe they want to see that um, expertise and they want to see that lifestyle and, and they see it and they're like, oh, I want that, right? Yes, of course, people do buy on that. People do buy on lifestyle. They do buy on the image and the brand and I think it is important to understand that, that, that people do buy on that and to not disregard it and think, well, I can just um, you know, ignore that. People are judgmental. But at the same time, know that um, it's not all there is, right? You can um, create success by being you and by showing up as you because the person that has the courage to continue to keep going and going, even when there's doubt and even when they're not sure and even when they feel like today their performance wasn't the best or that piece of content they wrote or that video wasn't the best, the person that's going to be continuing to have the most energy and show up the most frequently is probably going to be the one that succeeds versus the one that maybe shows up every once in a while and is inconsistent and is in and out, in and out, right? And not really showing up. Um, it really is about that. So that's all I have today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy uh, the first week back to school in September. I know it's uh, a busy week for mom and dads and people that have kids. If you have any kids going back to school, my niece just um, literally FaceTimed me um, like half an hour before I came on. And uh, she's like, I'm going to call you after school, which she did. Okay. And I, I said, I have to go. I have to go. I have to do a video. She's like, no, stay on. I said, why? She's because I was just asking her questions. And she sometimes she just wants to stay on and just like like talk, just um, random stuff. And I, of course, I love her dearly. But I'm like, why do you want me to stay on so bad? And she says, because they're going to get sushi and I'm all by myself and I'm bored. <laughs> Like, okay, I'm glad that I'm your boredom. I'm the person that you call when you're bored. But it's just so cute that um, I love them so much. I, I saw them eating dinner because they're in Toronto, and I was just um, seeing what they're up to and how their first days went, and it was really good. So I'm really happy for them. So I hope that if you had kids going back to school or your loved ones back in school, that they had a great day and that um, they had fun and you got to reconnect with them. I mean, it's so great. I'm so glad the kids are back in school to be able to be around their friends and just reconnect in person. Such a good thing. So have a great one. If you're looking for someone to coach you, if you want someone who can teach you the mindset aspect of business, the sales aspect of business, and the marketing, those are the three things I really focus on with people when they're really wanting to grow their business and get more clients is really around obviously getting the sales and making the money and knowing how to market yourself to do it. But having that mindset and that energy to understand how to do it day after day and how to do it when things like doubt creep in, how to do it when the consistency, how do you get more consistent and how do you show up as you in the most authentic part of you so that your message is who you are, right? I talk about sales, but I ta also talk about the mindset of, um, you know, there's always strategy. There's a new strategy you can learn, but after a while, the strategy is the same, right? I do the same strategy all the time to get clients. I do the same posts. I have my social media mapped out. Once that is mapped out, once you have your strategy mapped out, mapped out, it really is a matter of consistently continuing to do it, continuing to show up when um, those doubts come in or when you're thinking, oh, my content is boring today or I don't know what to write today. I don't know what to say today. I don't know how to show up today. What do I, what kind of message do I want to say, right? And it's brainstorming with someone on that with you as well as keeping you realizing that you are um amazing at, and this is what if this is what you're meant to do um it's possible and it's possible to make waves and, and you can make it so if you're interested in coaching with me i'm sure there's a link um wherever i am you can find it on the instagram and facebook and you can get on a call with me and we can do a sales strategy session where 
basically I look at your sales strategy and your process and especially your marketing as well and from there we can see you know are there any cracks in the system or do you even have a process and we can put it together and I can give you two or three tips and if you want to continue working with me awesome or if you just want to walk away with a little bit more structure to your business and your strategy we can do that too so thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening wherever you are in the world. Bye.